The core focus of the digital production and product development teams is to work with our divisions and find ways to make every book render as beautifully as possible across all devices. We develop creative um, experiences for the reader um, across multiple platforms. We're really platform agnostic. One of the key parts of our process in creating an application is to make sure that we are staying true to the essence of the book, to the story. When we look at these digital products, we don't just say, oh, could we make an adaptation of this book into as a digital product? We think, is there something new that we could do that expands the world of publishing? For narrative books that are mostly text, we really coded that core random house feeling of wanting to have great quality. So the work's a little simpler. We check every word, we check that the formatting is correct, we make sure that every character and every paragraph is going to be a great reading experience across the devices. For enhanced ebooks, we look at places where we can help tell the story better or help convey information better. We're finding new ways to enhance books. A few years ago, enhanced books were really just about audio and video and placing them within the text of a title. These days, we can do so many more things to find ways to make your title more creative. When we're looking for adding interactivity to content, sometimes that means adapting books that already exist. And that's going to be books that have a natural motion to them. If you see in illustrations that there's, you know, jumping and moving that says, oh, I wish I could see this come to life, that naturally makes sense for uh, an interactive experience. I worked really closely with the author Mark Danielowski on his book, The Fifty Year Sword. In the print version of The Fifty Year Sword, all of the images were hand stitched. So the images themselves are very unique, and we wanted to maintain that uh, sort of feeling in the ebook version. And so by animating these images, we were able to sort of play with the idea that they were being stitched onto the page. For the Giada app, we created a great cooking experience that includes recipes, sound bites, and easy access to our Twitter feed. For our title, Vietnamese Home Cooking by Charles Fawn, we were able to test a new piece of software this fall, and it was a great opportunity to re-envision what Charles had for the print book, to rethink the design. We were able to use scrolling text boxes and pop-ups so that the recipe is really easy to read and see, and we were even able to put in step-by-step -step instructions for cooking. It was also a good opportunity for Charles to integrate many of the extra pictures that he took in shooting for the book. George R. R. Martin's World of Ice and Fire app includes maps of Westeros and the complete character world of Game of Thrones. It's the first time all this information has been put together in one place. We designed uh, a great app, Dr. Seuss's The Cat in the Hat knows a lot about that, color and create. As we imagine this, we decided to adapt not only traditional art tools like crayons and paintbrushes, but we're also thought about well, what, what makes digital coloring better? What could, be, what could you do in digital that you couldn't do on paper? One of my favorite tools is the confetti majig. And this is actually a cannon that shoots confetti out all over the screen. So kids draw with their finger and lay glue down on the page. And then when they release their finger, the confetti cannon shoots off. One of the great projects that we worked on with our colleagues at Random House was the adaptation of the iconic book Pat the Bunny. We really focused on our target age group, which are the youngest device users. And we thought, what is going to make this the best experience for them? So all of the interface is extremely simple. Anything you tap on has some response, so there's no wrong answer. One of the key areas that we focused on as well was the table of contents. We created a map-based table of content where the children could actually tap through specific areas of the book, go to different areas, and interact in ways they never had before. The essence of Pat the Bunny isn't the fur, even though we all love it. The essence of Pat the Bunny are simple, relatable experiences that give kids mastery over their world. And when we figured that out, then all of a sudden the possibilities were endless for digital. One of the great advantages of building an app is that we can insert an analytics into the product and we can really get a great feel for what consumers are interested in and what they're really relating to. So for instance, we can tell whether they like one area of content better than the other and then we can adjust the product moving forward. All of these technologies make it possible to do new things, new types of storytelling. And in the digital world, storytelling is still king.